be ready 10 seconds to go start we need to reform the industry broadly speaking every industry and industrialist is entitled to grow to their fullest potential but without recourse to unethical practices or evasions of dues to the state we need to also reform the mentality of the common citizen he must realize the imperatives of hard work quality work and discipline responsible citizenry demands no less and bearing those who belong to the weaker sections of the society and hence deserve all the support of affirmative action that we can render unto them the others should begin to respect the laws which fashion and govern a sound economy which means they must pay for what they use and yes they must also get what they pay for in short the nation as a whole needs to reform itself in order to be able to effectively face the new challenges and seize the new opportunities of the 21st century let us together create a mindset revolution to harmonize the objectives of economic liberalization and social liberation let us together build a strong prosperous and self confident india freed from the curses of mass unemployment illiteracy and other manifestations of under development and let us make india a global economic power in the 21st century the key to translating this vision into reality is growth growth with employment and equity in our national agenda we have pledged to bring sustainable gdp growth into 7 to 8% bracket from the present level of 5% many people doubt if it is an achievable target i would say that this is a moderate target given both india's capacity and necessity even at this rate of 7 to 8% india has to wait for well over half a century to catch up with the developed world can we afford to be slower than this we must grow faster we can grow faster we simply have no other alternative in the sphere of the economy i should tell you plainly that i have inherited a weak and deficit ridden economy but i am not complaining my job is not to harp on the past but to look to the future not to complain but to lead shri kumar has rightly talked about the need to rebuild confidence and morale 
of industry he has specially highlighted the issue of bringing back decision making to the fore i would like to utilize this occasion to tell you and the nation what my government will do in the next 3 months all of us are legitimately concerned about the prolonged downturn in the economy industry specially is looking to the government to take necessary steps to kick start the economy this is no doubt dictated by the objective of faster economic growth but it is also necessitated by my own government's stated goal of creating at least 10 million new job each year in the economy we shall soon announce a series of schemes to mobilize investable funds from idle resources existing in the country but unavailable to the exchequer in consultation with the trade and industry we will take all necessary steps to reduce the currently untenable level of npa as of banks and financial institutions we will also devise machinery for resolving disputes between the revenue departments and trade and industry to speedily obtain for the government what is legitimately the states also suitable policy measures will be taken to tap new and unconventional sources of funding such as debt market instruments pension and insurance funds for infrastructure projects the government is committed to broaden deepen and speed up the process of internal liberalization in the case of globalization we will adopt a carefully calibrated approach for reasons most of you appreciate the government will play the role less and less of an active player in the economy and more and more of a legislator facilitator and regulator where necessary it will be the protector of india's commerce and industry my government's relationship with industry will be based on trust not marred by mistrust i come from a political tradition that does not look upon commerce and industry with a suspicion when it was conventional political expediency to decry entrepreneurship we championed their cause as a government we will do more as a concrete proof of this approach we will soon appoint a commission to comprehensively review in a short time frame all the administrative laws rules and regulations governing industry and trade such of them which have outlived their utility will be either totally scrapped or radically simplified with this move we aim to enable indian entrepreneurs small medium or big to create more wealth for themselves and the nation 
the companies act will be drastically overhauled the foreign exchange regulation act will be replaced with a legislation consistent with the current needs we will ensure that crucial government orders are not passed without first ascertaining their consequences on domestic industry many of the problems faced by industry are at the state and local levels as such now stop